As I was preparing to make this video, I was thinking about how to go about making it more interesting to the viewer. New scenes, new rolling stock, new locomotives, and then it came to me. It is all about points of view. How can I come up with a different point of view that will be new and fresh? There's always this. I'm going to show you some new stuff and hopefully some new points of view. Some that I haven't used for a while and some that will be entirely new. Perhaps this would entertain you. I built this when I was 20. It's the most interesting feature. Is the planking. I could show you some mountains and a stream. No, this is about trains and building layouts. To me, however, it is also about making a video that is interesting and fresh to watch. So I combine moving the camera with a moving train in one of the points of view. Here goes.
the hikers. These two seem to be getting into it. By the look of her body language, she's not happy. This fellow thinks they ought to be going the other way. That it, whatever it is they're going to is over there. And mom is looking at the map. Dad is just overcome. He does not know what to do. It's unwinnable. I need some folks on the path over here. On Farland Walk. So this is uh, what I got. I think I saw him on Matthew Snowden's layout. There's a few other new things. I don't know if you can read that or not. The Ferguson tractor guy is out here at the farm today. Got a nice new lander over here. A couple other new things around over here. Not a whole lot today. Got this nice new locomotive for Father's Day. It was weathered when I got it. It was a bargain at uh, you know who's. And I think it looks great. Uh, let's see, then we have, uh, oh, another Land Rover. And, uh, got this big, big truck. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. I need to change the name of that to, uh, I don't know, some sort of truck garage. Maybe you have a suggestion for me. I'm considering three projects. One is bringing these tracks and having them turn and go through the back scene over here. Through a tunnel or something. I don't know what I'll come up with. And making a big turn and in this space, sweeping around, making a big S, coming down along this wall, and then coming through over here in my industrial area and meeting up with those four tracks over there, but not curving in, coming straight across. Just something I'm thinking about. I call it my time machine project because Shell Hill, which is right there, and uh, Howe Street are not that far apart. And it does not take much time for a locomotive to get from one to the other. So what I was thinking was I'd like to add track, it would be non-scenic track, and it would just add time. It would just loop out around here and loop back around outside the view of people. And I wouldn't have full tables, I would just have the track supported minimally. Um, so that I could still get back in here. C21's back here, and I frequently need to get under the table to do something, seems like. I wonder if my file's in here. I lost a file. I keep wondering if it's back in here somewhere. Nope, I don't see it. 
that's apparently not where I left it. Project number two that I've been thinking about. Take you around back here. This is the next project. Another project I'd like to do. It's too deep for my taste. I'd like to make it more shallow. And uh, more like a, oops, more like an easy depression like that instead of this rocky canyon that I've built. The other project is over here. So we're over here by the uh, the big curve, the industrial areas at the other side, and I have this little town scene over here. Frankly, compared to the quality of far more, it's just not up to snuff. So this is uh, a third item on the list. I don't know what the order of the list of the priority is, but I would like to rebuild this town. I don't know exactly what the timing of that's going to be. I think the uh, I think the track addition is kind of a fall thing. I don't really feel like ripping everything up at the moment. This is something that could be done without tearing too much stuff up. And it definitely needs work. So those are the three projects on my potential project list. Thought I'd share that with you. At 5.02, on my previous video, Enough Building, number 117, there was a white car passing a bus on the viaduct at the top of the frame. The award goes to Alan Murphy and Matthew Snowden for spotting it. If anyone else saw it and kept quiet about it, you get an award too.